Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. So for today, we are looking at another small fighter and this one is called the Banshee Mark 1, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small block fighter created by Alucard77729 and it makes a very fancy shadow right below there which I was not expecting. Pressing F10 and finding the Banshee in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 1222 small blocks using the Wasteland DLC pack, mainly for the barred window blocks for the main body of the ship. We have absolutely no information about this so we just give this a thumbs up, move all the way around to the very front, have a quick look around the outside and then we'll test it out and shoot a few things. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got ourselves a lovely yellow fighter cockpit to fly this thing around with a hydrogen thruster on the left and right hand side. Just below our cockpit we do have a bar doing the block with an air vent sitting right behind there to refill our tanks, make sure we don't suffocate while flying this around a non auction planet or just simply in space. If we were to move along onto these wings, we've got some rocket launchers. We have eight in total, four on each side. They just come across onto these funny little wings which have gaps all the way through them. We can see the hydrogen thrusters on the side there on the main body of the ship. Towards the very back here, this is what's going to be to push us around three large hydrogen thrusters, so we should get some fantastic speed out of this. We also got some lovely black spiky blocks for some additional decoration with a little touch of red to break it up. As we were to move up and above here, now this is what I like about the ship. The holes have been done in such a way that gives a fantastic shadow right below the ship, which does look rather menacing while flying around. Yes, just coming all the way up and above here and looking down, we can see a bunch of hydrogen thrusters to help us maneuver down while in space. We can see the gaps in our wings and the shape that they have taken. And if we were to come all the way over to here towards our barred window blocks, we'll be able to see our hydrogen tanks, a hydrogen engine, a bunch of batteries to power this thing, as well as an O2H2 generator to make sure we don't run out of fuel on a long voyage. If you were to drop down and come underneath here, this is what we're going to get, a bunch more hydrogen thrusters and a connector to connect this thing up and to recharge this thing up with hydrogen. And if we were to move along to the front there, we do have a landing gear just baked into the main body so it's very flush to the ground so we were going to kind of risk the vehicle if we go on uneven surfaces but in general practice it's quite fine or at least in my case because I usually just try and find a patch of ice to land on and that's always perfectly flat. At the very front we can see below our cockpit to access it to put some stuff in if you want to and that is it for the outside of the Banshee Mark 1. So bring up the HUD and then removing this because I added that myself. Number two is going to be to take control of our rocket launchers and to mouse click to fire them all together. So there we go. Number three is for our hydrogen engine on and off and as you can see there we do have just enough power thanks to our batteries to stay flying. Number four and number five is to lock and unlock our landing gear and connector with number six to toggle the lights which are just above our cockpit. So there we go. Tab number two, three and four is empty. So now we can fly this around then we'll start shooting stuff up. So moving forwards, this is what we get. We've got some fantastic speed thanks to our three large hydrogen thrusters at the back there. Then coming to a stop, again, fantastic speed with that. No need to do a 180, so we've got some very good stopping time. Moving left, and moving right, we're a little slower than forwards and backwards, but still fantastic speed overall. Moving down, we've got some great speed with that, and then moving up, oh, come to a stop please. There we go. We've got some good speed moving up, which is simply a little bit heavy due to being on the alien planet and I don't think we damaged anything on here. No we did not, we just made a little bump in the ground. Yeah, so we do my mouse round, this is what we get. We've got some great control over this and it has a little bit of weight on there, which is something I really like when it comes to a small ship. So there we are with that. So now what we can do is bring up the HUD, whoop that's not the HUD, and we're going to fly towards the pirate base over here and we're going to start shooting up and see how well the ship can handle it. So here we go, there is the salvage facility belonging to the space pirates. We're going to line this thing up and we're going to try and do a hit and a run. We're going to do this in third person which never goes well for me. 
We're just gonna start firing here. They're completely out of range, but hopefully I'll get the jump on them, which I most probably will not. So here we go, we're gonna start shooting them. Wow, we're actually... Do they just have no guns? Oh, there comes the guns. There's their rocket launchers. I was wondering why they were coming back at me. Yes, I'm doing a terrible job at hitting this. So what I'll do to end this video is simply slam myself straight into them. Oh, don't you dare hit me. And the slam, there we go. Almost into their grinding pit. So that is it for the Banshee Mark 1. It's a lovely little ship to play around with and there will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to play around with it yourself. So that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another one sometime soon. Bye bye.